All right, we're going live. Let's see how this looks. Get in there. <laughs> oh, you look so graceful. I'm not, I'm so not, graceful. I'm not doing oh. anything special. So don't just don't, don't fall. Just don't fall. That's all I ask. It's hella hot in this tub. I'm gonna just say it. Oh, it is. Don't Whoa. try to get in too quick. Whoa, slippy. Oh, Lord. Oh, you guys are low. Yes. You guys are low. I you love it. Push that up a little bit, huh? There oh, we there go. We are. We there need we go. Stairs? That's good. That's good. Well, we don't need the stairs, but there we go. Oh, yeah, wonderful. There you go. Look That's how much beautiful better. we look. All right. Let me get in. All right. Enjoy the dark side of the moon. Oh, man. <laughs> the skunk. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful skunk that is action. Warm. Cheers. Oh, my God. We are live. That is hot. Give me a beer. Nice and warm. Would you, you like, like hip hop or hip hop? Hip hop, beat pop. This is uh, right. coming out, I think, this week, or they released it on Saturday. So oh, we beautiful. were the uh, we got a case before they even gave it out to the public. Beautiful. So I want to thank Nate. Yeah, thanks to Nate. Thanks to Nate. Appreciate that, Bob Nate. Over there. We appreciate that. Big Our time. beautiful banner that you guys saw in the open. Yes. There. Oh, yeah. Sunday soak, baby. All right, let's get it started. We are going to start with. As usual, the humble brag. Oh, yes. Give me that humble brag, guys. Oh. All right, I'm down with it. Shoot. Yesterday, we were talking oh, about <laughs> our man, Juan Manaya, save leader, second half of last season, got demoted. We put out predictions of who would be promoted as part of this, and we predicted Bruce Rondo, yep. our man, the super, super big goal. Super, super big goal. He's the super big goal. 44 ounces, baby. He, he four is ounces, the new 108 man crush. He was throwing BBs today, and then he got a third. Yeah. You have three Ks or four Ks? Yeah. I don't Man. know. But he, he was fucking motherfuckers up. He's fat. He's overweight. You, you can tell the good boy yeah. likes to eat. I love it. So before we get into anything else, we we had the lost item from yesterday's game. Yes, we, we found, do. We found a dollar bill All right. outside, possibly a poo dollar. <laughs> this dollar bill right here, okay? We found this outside the park on Saturday. Yeah. Please claim it. If it's yours, it's yours. Hit us up on Twitter. Yep. Just tell us the entire serial number to the T. <laughs> yep. And we'll claim it. It's yours. We will get it back to you. That's right. And we'll 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 mail it back to you. My stock summer will be able to get it, yeah, I'll to get you it back as, to you. as soon as possible. Okay. So if anyone's missing this, we'll put the poo back on it. Yeah, be great. A, if not, it goes right to Beer Guy Brian's pocket, <laughs> and that's it. That's how it is. He'll love it. He'll enjoy that. He'll All enjoy right. That. So this week was a tumultuous week. Oh God. It was very fucking cold, um, but we uh, we tried to break Makata out of his slump That's by getting a bunch of Twinkies yesterday. There's no question. And it seemed to have worked. He went two for four. He did. He went two for four. He had a walk also. So okay. he's on base three times yesterday. Yeah. And so three for five. That's a, that's a good day. That's that's what we take want out of him. There's no question. Every day. But then no one brought us Twinkies today. And then when kind of had a bad day. He sucked. Yeah, he, he was terrible. And the, so sucks off the, the key is you need to bring us Twinkies. I don't know why no one got this from our video yesterday, but no one came down with Twinkies no. today. You got to bring them to the 108. We'll eat the Twinkies. Don't worry. We'll eat them for you. Yeah, there's no you question. You need to bring them so that we can help Moncada get out of this slump. That's the only way it's going to work. I mean, right. what, what do you expect? Do, are we supposed to buy Twinkies every week? No, no. no we, we already bought two, two boxes. We bought them. We, so we get two boxes back. Fans. We're not buying any more boxes of Twinkies. We will go broke doing that. Exactly. That's right. We're not right. here to make sure that Wamakata is going to hit. Wamakata is fantastic. He's fantastic. He's, he's, he's doing it. He right. makes really killer burritos up there at Pancho Pistolas. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's talk about opening day weekend. Excellent. All right. Opening day weekend. <laughs> That's what it was. Yeah. It was a full weekend full of coldness. Weekend. Yes. Uh, yes. We, we experienced the, is it? Correct, the coldest game in uh, White Sox history. That's what we were talking about. It's like Chicago history. That's Chicago Chicago history. Yeah. Okay. Coldest Chicago baseball game in Chicago history yesterday. Yeah. The Saturday game. But you know what? It will happen tomorrow, Bob. though. Is ESPN will only report that the Cubs are the coldest area. That's <laughs> all for it. Yeah, yeah, we'll get fucked over on that. Of course, so let's, let's just maybe try and run down through all the people that we saw this weekend. Yes. It is oh, an incredible It's list. a huge list. So go ahead, people, if you start. <laughs> okay, so at, at the uh, at the beef cave, at the party, we ran in. Well, first we had the 108ers. We had the ambassadors. We had Bobble Jim. We had Wally Money. We had uh, Pete Aloha, Mr. Hand. We had the wives. We had uh, Mrs. Beef Loaf. And, uh, 
feet, and, and yes, and uh, uh, <laughs> and, uh <laughs> Little Miss Shortstop was there, Shortstop and what do you think he was there, so we had the, our whole crew from that group. Yeah, El Jefe exactly. was there. El Jefe showed up, else. right, he was talking some smack, El, we had uh, El, Chapo was there. El Chapo was there, Beer Bonholm was there, and his crew, like, we, uh, yeah, we had a, a huge group, uh, we had Doc, Farmer Matt, Farmer Matt, uh, God, it's a it's a humongous group that we had for the opening game. Actual it's a live party. We had, we had the Cos Brothers. We had those That's guys right. out. Yeah. So we, then we got, and then we go to the game, mm -hmm. and then people started showing up at the game. That's right. So we definitely cool. we had uh, Brian Billick from uh, from Future Sox. We yeah. saw him kick off a cup holder. We did. <laughs> <laughs> we still have that cup holder. We Brian, if you're watching this, we'd like to get you to sign that because we yep. think it'll be a nice sundry item for someone to win next year. When we put out the uh, tournament of Twitter personalities for White Sox, we want everyone to fill out brackets. I think we think the bracket winner should get the signed, kicked off cup yeah. holder that, that you created for us. We have uh, White Sox Dave. White Sox, White Sox Dave. Dave show. There was a lot of questions about White Sox Dave's height. I, he's about six foot three. He's. <laughs> <laughs> and I am seven four. So if you look at that, right. uh, in the picture, he we are definitely we are six very foot. tall. Yes. All of us are very tall. Yeah, so if you think, you're like, oh, he looks kind of short, we're no, just no. all exceptionally tall. That's right. Uh, who else do we have on, on Saturday? We had or Michelle, on Thursday. Dirty, Dirty two, two, and out, or That's right. Her, all her posse. We sure is active. We have Colin, who's now our new weekday oh, yeah. friend. Yeah, yeah, we got a weekday, so, so weekday crew. Uh, the normal crew of Biggins and, and Slump Buster, they're in there on the weekends. But then for the weekdays, our boy Colin, he's yeah. filling in the spot, and I he was it. really good. And look, he he does not have alligator arms when it comes to buying a round, which is yeah. which which is so key when you're sitting in 108. Yeah. Good dude, right? He's willing yeah, to pull impressive. it out and buy and buy a big round. Yeah. You know, I tried to tell him, look, it's gonna be a big round. He didn't care. He bought for a bunch of I people. It was cool. cool. Very we cool. had we had more on Thursday. Who else came by on Thursday? I'm trying to remember. remember why? No, I'm in Sacks order. New Sox oh, order came on, on Saturday as well. They were Saturday. They were Saturday, yeah, Saturday. so did Sleepy Harold and all his crew showed up. Yeah, Saturday we also had a dude. Pretty damn rough. 
I mean, as we predicted, this this team's gonna have the highest ERA in the AL. Yeah. But the bullpen is total trash. Now it was nice to see a Bruce Rondon come through today and look yeah. like a real bullpen arm, like coming to throw some BBs and get some outs. And Lopez we looked had good. That. Lopez, Lopez looked terrific. And I think you referred to Lopez as the new Kentucky. He is. He's the new Portland. He's, <laughs> yeah, he's definitely uh, he's definitely gonna take up that style. He, he pitched the gem of the game. And they just couldn't. They had no offense. Yeah, there was but nothing. Now, look at here. I'm, I'm just going to I'm gonna relate this to, as, as to how we can all, can all understand. It was hard for us to drink beers this weekend. Oh, yeah. It was so it damn was cold out there. And we are Goodness. really, really good at drinking beers. Yes. Okay. Oh, there's a, so if, our, if the temperature is correct for us, you're going to pound beers like a nose Okay? So let's look at the Sox. The Sox can hit, obviously. They hit really well in Kansas City. Well, in this case, it sucks the ball. And they did pretty well in Toronto, too. That's right. Wise. Well, and they hit on opening day, too. Right. 7-3 I mean, lead in the eighth inning. They right? had a really good, like, so they could do it. But they got, like, balls cold on Saturday and Sunday. If you couldn't count the beers, they're not going to hit that ball. No, they're yeah. not going to do it. These guys can't do it. It's got to hurt. It's the conditions are too brutal. I mean, they just couldn't, they couldn't line it up. And it's mean, understandable. And it's not, it's not like good. Detroit was, like, running away with it today. No. It was a one nothing loss. Right? That's right. We didn't even get there in time to see the one run. No. Right. So we saw no runs to it. Yeah. Which is just sad. Like, I mean, like, <laughs> that, the hitting today was just abysmal. Like, it was awful to try, try and watch that game. Not to mention, it was nine degrees out there. No, I, and I wouldn't call it a pitcher's duel. No, It no. was a no-hitting duel. No, That's yeah, what it was. Absolutely. That's what it looked like. I mean, uh, I, I think Lopez looked good. I, I think he looked good, though. I take I, I take those performances all year. Lopez looked good. Well, that's fine, but I so, the conditions were horrendous for yeah. So one thing I did want to bring up is because I, I've seen this a little bit on the internet. We we talked about this a little bit yesterday, but we I keep seeing people talk about like, oh, the bullpen sucks. Let's start bringing up some of these future starters as bullpen guys, the way we we did with Chris Sale. Yeah. Michael Goldman, just, just <laughs> let's bring him up right now. <laughs> do, do, do not. Right do not do that. That is a terrible idea. That's bad. We're not going to be a good team this year. That's right. Let's just let those guys figure things out in AAA so that they can figure out things as a starter. And there's plenty of guys out there if you want to try and improve the bullpen. But I don't really think they do want to try and improve the bullpen. Right? I think they want it like it's good with what it is. That's is. They're fine with that. Right? So let's not try and bring up someone early. If you're going to do anything... You sign some garbage guy off the street like Drew Storen, right? Like where it's right. like, okay, this guy's fine. We'll bring him in and he'll he'll solidify the bullpen a little bit. He'll be a little bit more reasonable as a as a bullpen, right? I thought That's Roger it. Jordan played third base. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that he was a big guy. Is he like the old guy? What is the guy's name? Otani. Otani. <laughs> Roger Dorn is, is number one cheating on his wife. That's a, that's what he's best at. No I was just talking about Drew Storin. <laughs> Very different guy, much younger. So, as the people Jan told us, which I guess was related to him from uh, Jerry Schwing, uh, Michael Kovac could not find his way around Charlotte very well. He was on Instagram Live begging for rides. That is because, ridiculous. Because his, uh, his, what, his Uber did not show up or his Lyft. Let's see. Oh, short. oh, it's short. All right. Short, short. We're shooting baskets yeah. off camera. You guys won't know. We'll celebrate if we actually make a basket. All right. We'll let you guys know. So, I don't know if uh, Michael Kovac is actually ready to come up here because uh, you do not want to be walking around the, the south side looking for a ride. I mean, yeah, I, I don't want. It's fine. I don't want an Instagram far past. Morgan, I don't want an though. Instagram like live. I don't want an Instagram live of Michael Kopech walking around Brownsville looking for a, a, a ride from. Yo, <laughs> that just seems like. Well, I'm worried about him emotionally. If the guy's out there doing that, he doesn't have his fucking shit together yet. We need the guy to have everything lock, stock, and barrel to come up here and start slaying. Right. Both. Uh, hitters on the mound and, and both the mounds, both, both mounds. That's right. He needs to be slaying both mounds. That's right. And he will. he's not ready yet. I mean, he will right. eventually, but he's got to get his shit together right now. He's yeah. not emotionally unstable right now. So we agree. Keep him at AAA. There's yeah. no problem. Let's wait for yeah. let's wait for Carlos to come back and and bring in you know bring him into the rotation. Move maybe a, a as I told you yesterday, Miguel Gonzalez. You move him to the pen. He becomes the new DJ Carrasco. That'd be and lovely. You have that. 
And then he's still gonna be a long guy, right? You know, right. long guy when Carson Palmer fucking fucks up. Yeah, and it's and, 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 and it's gonna be his cat. If you're like, hey, I want to bring up uh, someone to fill in the bullpen, bring up someone terrible like Chris Wilson, my my guy. That's a favorite guy. He's, he's my. He's good I, I just kicked that poor guy around for his entire career. It's beautiful. <laughs> All right. That's kind of the stuff we wanted to talk about this week. Let's get into the questions. We want to go to questions. All right. Questions we have a lot today. of questions. We, we're sorry if we didn't get to your question because we cut things off at some point before we're going to come out here. So, first question from Monica Is Lopez the new Jose Quintana? I think we covered that already. My Sox Summer actually predicted this yes. many moons ago that he is the new Jose Quintana. He is He's going to be the hard luck uh, starter out of the group. He's been the first two games of the yeah. season. He's been very good. I mean, truth be told, he's been the best starter. Yeah, he's yeah. looked the best. And out it's of not even close to the, the beginning of the season. He's been striking people out. He's been keeping the run and hit totals low. I, I mean, I don't see anything else. I mean, like, he throws fire. He I mean, does like, throw that's, fire. That's blazing. I love it. Now, we don't know. I mean, maybe he's only going to be in one of these five or six inning starts. So what? The landscape's changed. Those guys are terrific. We, we need those guys. We I'm need fine with him guys. being a healthy, rich Harden. Right? Like, he goes five innings, <laughs> and he's just awesome, and then you gotta you got to bullpen up the, the rest of the way. That's fine with me. No question. Okay, what do we got next? Uh, this is from Lookout. Why does the field look so amazing? The field had, like, dead dandelions in it. It had brown patches. I assume this is sarcasm. The field looked like total shit, in my opinion. I don't know about you guys. What you thought about the first field? Of, first of all, I didn't even notice anything about the field. <laughs> uh, I, was, I was shaking, and, like, these guys were telling me that it was colder yesterday. I felt today was the coldest, especially towards the end of the game where I'm standing up, and I literally could not stop my arm from, like, fucking jerking. <laughs> Oh, yeah, easy. Yeah, no, no, no. Look, we, we appreciated that he could not stop his arm. That's what kept us warm throughout the year. Epic year. That's right, right, right. Right. Dutch rotary. That's our Dutch you were, rotary. Yeah, you were skiing. You were down slope skiing. It was so beautiful. Skiing. But the, uh, I mean, Roger Bosser needs a couple days off, right? He's, 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 he's kind of warm up. It's winter. It's, it's winter like conditions. The field is not going to look good. Okay, look. It's just I, not I, I, I'm, look I'm good. sorry. All right, I, I I would agree with you if you were right, but you're wrong. <laughs> In Cleveland, when the conditions are bad, they spray paint the field. They'll spray paint the 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 dirt green Listen, to make it look like grass. Yeah, well, they could have done that. Okay. Oh, 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 here's the thing, man. I, I mean, you're not on the streets. Like like me and my sex summer. Okay, fine, 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 fine. The spray paint's illegal in this city. It right? is. You can't even buy That's that true. shit. Where's Roger supposed to get that? That's fine. You don't need spray paint. Well, you you spray supposed to drive to fucking the burbs and come bring it back? You want some yeah. dude out there with a roller? roller That's fine. You, you make that Let's feel look green, motherfucker. We just rehired an ex-con, okay? I know. We're not going to start breaking the law <laughs> and spray paint. That guy, is a, that guy is just a non-convict. That's I'm not <laughs> talking about that guy. I'm talking about the other guys that we hired that are ex Oh, okay. Oh, okay. 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 That's That's fine. Fine. That, that makes sense. sense. Sorry. There's a program. All right, next question. Next question from Chris M. I'm sure he probably had his shirt on if he was at the game today. No not, way. I don't think he no went way. to the game. There's no way that guy ever has his shirt. He, on. Can't, he was not at the game because he would have come over and said hi. Exactly. There's no question. And if he didn't come over and say hi, Chris, fuck you. Ooh, that was close. That, that was, was online, close. right? He would have been pole dancing today yes. had he been there. Okay, yeah. so his question Who will win the Masters? What is the Masters? <laughs> I, I got a prediction. I got a big. Is this a wrestling match? I got a big fun. prediction for the Masters. I'll go with Danny Newton. Oh Danny Newton. yes. Oh. All right. Yes, that is a golfer. He does drugs I every day. Aware of. That's right. Uh, I'm down on that. I'm yeah, gonna, I, I'm going to take Judge Smith. <laughs> <Judge> I, <Smith. laughs> I honestly know nothing. I honestly crazy. know nothing like, about <laughs> golf. Like I, I couldn't know less about a sport. So I will just say that uh, I, I hope the guy that does all those drugs off Paulina Gretzky is the guy that. The thing is, like, the one waiters don't not only know nothing about golf, yeah. we think golf's a huge waste of time, and we never watch it or play it. Oh, oh that was close. close. That was close. Prince I don't want to remember this. You may. All right, All right next question. Oh, next you question. Me, you gave me the one that's going to blow up. Shy Sox Anthony, you asked for it. You wanted the one that's going to hey, blow up. Hey, you didn't win blow up. Shy Sox Anthony wants to know. From the one of waiters, what's our favorite wrestling federation? Is it WCW, WWF, or ECW, or others? Okay. International or lower uh, regional type wrestling. So, would you mind if I go first? Yeah, go. No. Okay. 
<laughs> I'm not a big wrestling guy. You just kept talking, motherfucker. I'm not, I'm not a big wrestling guy, but I really liked whatever federation had the Von Erich brothers. There were like seven of them. I have no idea what that is. Was that the AWA? Eight of them killed themselves. I don't know what they were, but they, there were a lot of them, and then they wrestled for a little bit, and then they were dead, and then there was maybe one left. So I really enjoyed whatever that was at the for the six months I watched wrestling. 26 years ago. You know it's that. a good thing you cut us off because we were both going to say that. <laughs> Slim Nick is feverishly tweeting right now. He is. You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> this is that. This It was the actual ACWAL, all like in the Lower East Side. He's, he's tweeting and, right now to say how good my answer was. Yeah. Because the Von Erics are some shit. You, go, you want to go? You wanna go? Uh, yeah, I mean, like, for me, I don't know much about wrestling, right? So, like, I don't either. I, uh, I, I like Ric Flair. Right, like I think he was oh, WC- who does it? WCW. He was right? WCW. Uh, and he kind of kept. So. He kind of kept no that alive. Yeah, but he, right? he was AWA, WCW. and then he was uh, WWF for a while too. But I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna use this as a little segue. Use this a little segue. Okay, do it. Do uh, I get the answer? You get to answer in a second. Oh, okay. I just want to talk I about your segue. I'm gonna. I just want to talk about one other thing oh, okay. about wrestling. Okay. This, okay. this is wrestling related, if you can believe oh, it. I got other wrestling shit to say. So I want to hear your wrestling knowledge, everyone. Quiet down out there in the crowd. We'd like to hear Treezy's wrestling now. So let's June, go. June 16th, we're going to do an outing. So, like, oh, yes. we want everyone yeah. to come to the game. It's a day game. It's a game. good tie-in. It's a good tie-in. game. It's not a second game. It's a tie-in. And, and it's a tie-in. So, whatever. I don't There's no question. I, I don't speak English. <laughs> June 16th, we're going to do a day game. It's going to be a 110 game. And then afterwards, we are gonna, all going to head over to Beta Brow. We're going to yes. have a big party at Beta yep. Brow. And it will be, uh, it's, it's, it's actually Beef Loaf's uh, 40th birthday, so let's get out there. Yeah, the next, the, the next day the I will turn 40. So, on Father's Day. Yeah, we can, cheer, yeah, we can t- come out and cheers my 40th birthday. But that night, that night after we get too drunk to stand up and we That's leave, right. there will be a wrestling uh, match at Vader Bro. So you yes. should go, you should yeah. check that out. Several matches. So, yeah, yeah, several, several matches. Yeah, it's, a, it's a whole night a whole of wrestling. Event. Down at, on the on the brewery floor. Yes. It's pretty awesome. We went there like uh, in brawl. November. Yeah, it's the yeah. next Vader Brawl. Vader Brawl. So uh, we went there in November. It was fantastic. We had a great time. Um, so check that out. So all day that day, you can hang out with us, or you can hang out with with the Vader Brawl guys, and it'll be a great time. And as um, of, and as of right now, it's going to be game with us, and then the meetup is going to be us plus Socks Machine. Yeah. We don't know if we'll add more guests. We're I still we're, talking to Josh and, and Jim about adding some, like some more people. people, so it might be some more of your uh, uh, your favorite blogs and podcasts that are going to come out there. We really? got a private room, so everyone can come in that private room where we'll have our own bartender to hang out. It'll be a great time. Clearly, we're BFS with uh, White Sox Dave now and uh, Billick. And Brian so Billick, we yeah. can get both of those guys over there, probably no problem. We'll we see if they want to come we'll out. We'll give them yeah. like three like three free beers, they'll be there. They'll be there. We saw Billick straight and drink food. It's, 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 it's a dip. We'll yeah. give him, we'll give him a dip. tin or a, yeah. a pouch for Redman. Yeah. 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 A pouch. A tin or a pouch is right. Give me your wrestling. My wrestling is AWA. Uh, yeah, I don't know what that is. Okay, so it's American Wrestling Association. That's my favorite root beer, actually. I don't know if you guys do They had the Road Warriors. They were my favorite until the WWF could not get the Road Warriors to come over at that point. Okay. And I like Demolition because I thought Demolition was the uh, top banana. I, I love those guys. I feel like you know way more about wrestling than well, us. Yes, we so know a lot more. Everything that we just said, plus the giant Gonzalez, is the extent <laughs> of our wrestling knowledge. Yes. You know, I don't That's know correct. anybody <laughs> that you're saying that we should trade for or bring up from yeah. the Niners. Yeah. Well, maybe I have a little bit more knowledge on the. I like. <laughs> I like. Let's. That's good. Let's, we, have a, we have a new segment where we talk about wrestling. It's just my sex on. Let's about spend the next forty <laughs> minutes. I don't think it'll be very long. <laughs> I can talk about not, like late '80s, early '90s wrestling. That's about it. <laughs> All right, let's go to the next, next question. question. All right, our guy, Rich Carsley, it, it said, is it worth $60 a month to switch from cable to Hulu plus, like, he says four apps, but I think it's like 20 apps. Is it worth it? We'll go Trees E first. Actually, said, switch over. the question was, is it worth it to get all these apps to save $60? That's right. Yeah, is it worth yeah. the 60 bucks a month? To do well, it? no, but I think it costs more than 60 bucks. but I think you're saving 60 bucks. You're saving 60 bucks. I think that's what yeah. it is. Yeah. That's what he's saying. Is it worth sixty dollars a month to switch it? So here's the thing. <laughs> I, I don't think he gets it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I get it. I get it. So here's the thing. So uh, I, I'm talking about the worth. I'm talking about the worth. The difference between. Okay. Oh, worth. Okay. The worth. Yeah. I got you. I got you. <laughs> I, I I don't have cable anymore. Right. So I I use cable. 
Yeah, they're, they're uh, the example. So, yeah, so what, what I do, which is a, I, I use Sling, which has um, NBC Sports Channel, right? It's just local. And then for the WGN game, we just use an antenna. Okay. And so, so that's you can free. get those two. You get both of them. I get both of them. What so, about Comcast? So I get that's the, that's the NBC that's Sports. NBC? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, so you get both get both of those, and that's about forty bucks a month. Uh, if you need other channels, like yeah, you can get like Netflix or Hulu or whatever you want. Uh, but yeah, I, I I have I save a ton of money not getting Comcast. You cut Comcast the cord. Is, what they call cutting the cord, right? But you still yeah. got to pay for your internet. I still pay for internet, yeah, but I pay a way cheaper amount than what Comcast is. Right, okay. okay. For sure. All right, so the answer is yes. I, yeah, I think you, you should do that. Tracy yeah, knows I, it. I need to do the too, but I have I, I want to do it too, but uh, the problem is the girls like s- certain channels that are hooked up yeah. with the cable, so I'm not, I haven't gotten it yet. I just want something that doesn't have Bravo. Because I don't need any more real housewives. <laughs> that, that's, that's what I'm saying. That's a reasonable request. Understood. Yeah. <laughs> All, right, next All right, last question. So the last question is from Big Pookie, our guy. He wants to know, what happens if the 108ers get hypothermia, either at one of these games or getting in a hypothermia the hot tub? Or, or frostbite? What's hypothermia? I feel like it was frostbite when you read the question wrong. Two times you see it in the really fucked with it. I'm okay. the one who read the questions. You guys have no clue what the questions are. All right, are. go ahead. Tell, <laughs> us, tell, us, read it. tell us then. What is Not the here. I mean on Twitter. What is the answer then? <laughs> you guys want to write these questions out? You write them out. <laughs> I know what the question is. We got some infighting. The answer is no clue. We're not going to get hype with them. I don't okay? know. We're, we're hot from the inside. All right? We got the hot Latin blood right here. We got a fucking Viking over here. <laughs> we, ain't get, we ain't getting cold out there. We got cold in the game like... But everyone else is like freezing their asses off under covers and all this shit. We're up cheering and we're yelling no. about the game. All right. We got you cold know. when people left or didn't show up. That's that's true. Yeah, the thing is just just yeah. layer up, right? You got to layer up. But if we, if we were to get frostbite or hypothermia or whatever, we would just cover ourselves in elotes and bacon, and we would be fine. Those things both exist at the park. We could yeah. do it. I'm not too concerned with that. We can find one of those animals that Luke Skywalker kills and get slept inside it. Yeah, we'll just cut that open. That's right actually right beef fluff. We would just cut, <laughs> we would cut open you beef cut fluff. Cut me open and, and put it right inside. Take right? a nap inside of beef fluff. It was a Tom Tom. Tom Tom, there you go. See, you wouldn't know. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I, I would I do, do that. Yep. All right, so I think I think that's it for questions. It is. That's, I will say uh, we, we've, got, made it we've gotten through this pretty go quickly, but it was extremely cold, so we just need to get through this very quickly. And we will see you guys all uh, the week of April 20th. Absolutely. Uh, Astros. It's going to be the Astros, Astros. series. Uh, we're hoping that we're going to have some good tailgate scenarios going on that weekend. Yes. If not, we will just see you in the 108. You might not be out. invited to those tailgate scenarios. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're actually going to put out something on the blog pretty soon so we can let you know when Beta Brow is going to have tailgates. Yes. Yeah. So we, we've got the list. We'll get it out there to everyone else so you can sort of prepare and meet us out there at these yeah. tailgates. And it's like once a month. Basically. It's basically yeah. once a month. Yeah, and then we're going to probably do cruise. one once a month in addition to what they're doing. We're going to crash your tailgate. That's right. So if you're tailgate, if you're tailgate, you let us know that you're going to tailgate. Yeah, yeah, I saw like Explain this whole uh, uh, so situation to them. We have definitely talked about this, and I, I would talk to the guys over at Beta Brown and said, listen, a lot of people tailgate before Sox games because you got to pay $20 to park. So they're like, fuck. I drove by, drop off the banner to Beef Cloth on Saturday. There was people down there at 10 o'clock in the morning already parked, ready to go. It was like 28 degrees. And they were like cooking burgers already. Yeah. I'm like, I hope those things are vegan. But, uh, <laughs> so we are going to come to your tailgate with luscious, free, fresh, Bader Brow beer. Absolutely. And so you, you, like, if you've got, like, hey, you know what, we always tailgate on fucking April 21st, and we're going to do it, it's for my dad's birthday, you tweet at us and be like, hey, listen, we want to like, all right, you're like, hey, we're having a tailgate, come swing by. And we will pick somebody, and we will come to your tailgate. We'll, we'll, just, show we'll, just, show we'll just show up. We'll just show up with beer. Well, we'll probably tell you that we're coming. That's right. Then we got to get the location. Yeah, and I mean, depending that's on the right. weather, yeah. we yeah. may or may not have shirts on. But that's, that's true. Besides well, that's the no question, we have a Corona jersey on. You yeah, never know. Or really sweaty. Yeah. But that's yeah, no, that, that's definitely the another thing that we're going to be doing this year. We're not bringing food, so you better have food. You better feed us. That's right. So. We'll bring booze. But other than that, yeah, we're definitely bringing the beers out, and we're going to, like, party with you, and maybe give you a T-shirt or a hat. We'll see I, I think that brings us to our final question of the day, which is, 
which one of us is going to get out and turn that camera on? Because we'll it's stay. pretty warm right now. It seems like Drew's E. Ah. It's his car. It's his That's it's, right. It's my car? Right. <laughs> Let me drive over there and get this turned off. Thanks, Drizzy's, everyone. Cheers. Drew's going to shut this down. We're going to put the jets on. We're going to hang out here in the tub. Cheers, bro. Oh, that's a good... That's a good cold walk. Cheers. Go buy some beta rock. Go over there. Give him some love. Love your damn beta.